So, guys, we're here chatting with the entertainment this evening. Of course, you know we are at the Pediatrics Ward right here at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. And, of course, a group of Amistad has been performing here for years. For years and years, years and years. For many, many years. It's, it's a tradition of the group to be charitable, to give back to the community, to try and cheer up the children who are in the hospital, who are suffering for whatever, from whatever ailments that they may be. Um, Christmas is a time about giving, about looking out for one another, about peace, about cheer, about goodwill, and about celebrating the um, the birth of Jesus Christ our Savior and there's no better way to celebrate his birth than to look out for everybody else and to spread some cheer to spread some love and to give back so that is basically what we do when we come here every year to look out for the kids and to spread a little cheer and how, how, how long have you been singing with El Grupo Amistad? I have been singing with the group since I was I think nine years old wow. but it goes back way before me um, my father would have been singing with the group my uncle sings with the group so it's quite a family affair but i've been doing this since i was nine years old yes okay i have one more question for you or really a request uh, -huh. uh please share a nice little christmas greeting with our iktv family i'm going to leave the microphone in your hand and step out of this shot all right, all right. i on behalf of myself as well as the el grupo amistad just want to wish um, the IKTV family, the Boom FM family, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a very, very happy Christmas and a happy, happy New Year.
So, 
Uh, in case you're wondering what's going on, we are here at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital's pediatric ward. Now, this is a tradition. You can't have Christmas in Vinci, and you don't have a nice little Christmas party on the children's ward at the hospital, right? And with me right now are some of the people who have been responsible for this tradition for over 30 years? About 30 years. About 30 years. Let's say hi, let's say hi, let's say hi. Yeah. Hello, I'm Miriam, and I'm one of the past presidents, and we've been, as we said, in existence over 30 years. And initially, we were the wives, well, well, we represent the wives of the Rotarian, but since about 10 years when the Rotary opened up to women, the, the, cl the club kind of, you know, died a bit, but we still meet regularly, and um, we have, still have um, a few children that we see through, we call Main Trust is children. And we have a few children in, um, in secondary school. We have three now in secondary school and two at community college. Yeah, so I'll pass you over to Emily now, who is the last president. All right. <laughs> Merry Hello. Christmas, Emily. Thank you. I'm Emily Providence, and I've been the last president for a while. <laughs> That's a too long. So um, I, we, are, we, as Miriam said, we deal with children. And we, over the years, have worked with some children. As a matter of fact, one of the children who we saw through grammar school and then through community college is now the CEO of, of um, NIS, of National um, Stuart, Stuart Haynes. Yes. So we are proud of them, so that we would have helped some people to go through and make something and in they in return work to help to build savings. And we have also with you Dr. Dr. Rosemary Boyle. I am here as a member of the Inner Wheel Club also. Been a member for the last what 20 years. But I'm also representing the ward and the head of the Department of Pediatrics. We've noticed a very interesting trend this year in that you have a, a very little number of children on the ward. What say you, what, what, what do you think um, contributed to that? You know, it, to me it's a good thing, but you know, what, what, what do you, what's your response to that particular development? Just some hard work, a lot of hard work on the part of the department in the effort to get the babies well and home to spend Christmas with their relatives. You know, we just went through a very bad dengue period where we were swamped and thankfully the numbers of dengue is now down and we are now seeing less and less of dengue and more and more of other conditions. But thankfully we are able to get the children better and home. So that's why the numbers are so small. Beautiful. That make, makes for a very beautiful Christmas, right? Oh yes, for the kids and for their families. Of course, of course, of course. Now let's head back to, to Miriam for a little bit. Now over the years you would have done a few uh, projects here. I understand um, the, the range from, from benches to, to walk right. us through some of the things that you'd have done over the years. Yeah, we were the, actually the benches here in the pediatric um, forecourt there were um, donated initially by the Inner Wheel Club. But um, of late it has been upgraded and um, been maintained by the Rotary, Rotary South. And um, we also had a playground at the way the NBC is now. And that we we had it for about um, six years, but then we had to give it up in for in place of the um, the car, um, the, the radio station, yeah. And we have actually we donated some of those projects to um, a playground at the at um, Lodge Village, and not all of the equipment were used. Some are still in storage, and I've been asking the minister there to release it because it was brought to our attention still in storage, and it could be used for the um, Salvation Army home, so we're trying to get that, you know, that, and they're, they're okay with releasing it. It's just to get the the formal, you know, paperwork so right, to right, have right. have that happen. The yeah. eyes cross the teeth right, right, thing. exactly, right, right, right. exactly. Yeah, and we used to do like things like bake sales and jumble sales, you know, all for fun fundraising. And um, one of the things we used to do was a lot of caroling, but that eased off about five years. But this year, it was restarted. So we actually did a session at Beachcomber on Saturday with the Rotary family. Because with just a few of us, we've invited the Rotary and Rotaract with us. And tomorrow, we're actually going to be caroling here at the hospital, also the Thompson home. And we, we do what we're doing mainly in institutes now. So on um, Friday, we go to the um, mental health center and the Louis Burnett home. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so guys, I have one other favor to ask of us three ladies right here, right now. Uh, 
just say for IKTV and the family that's looking, nice little Merry Christmas. I'm actually going to step out of the frame, leave the microphone with you, so you can tell them Merry Christmas, Happy 2021. All right? All right. Okay, IKTV. IKTV. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. And hope oh. you continue your great work. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thanks with for us being here with us today. Oh. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> Yeah.